How deep does the void go? Did it stop at a certain point, or is it infinite? What sorts of limits are there? Just how deep does this thing go? Well, that's what I'm going to answer today, so let's begin. So, in Minecraft, there is a cap on how high or low you can naturally teleport. This limit is plus or minus 20 million blocks on the y-axis, which, if you went into the void, firmly puts you in the middle of the part that kills you. Now, I don't think you would assume that there's a way to break this limit, right? Well, there is. By decompiling the game, of course. So, getting this to work at all was actually a massive pain in the ass, but eventually, after like a crap ton of trial and error, here's what I did. So, I went on GitHub, got MCP Reborn, downloaded the 1.20.2 version, tried decompiling, and yeah, that didn't work. Alright, so uh, after after I recorded that, I got it again and tried decompiling, and somehow it, it actually did. So we're just gonna use that. After this, I looked for every instance of the number 20 million, which there were only two of. Here and here. So instead of changing it to something stupid like 1 over 0 or 1 over 0 over 0, 0.0, I just changed it to false. Because what that does is instead of checking if numbers between negative 20 million and 20 million, it just returns nothing, which to Minecraft means, oh, there's no limit, cool. So now it works. So yay. We are now ready to embark on this adventure of going ridiculously low down in this stupid block game. So, in another video I found of someone named Spuds, how do you even pronounce that, doing something like this, they found that when they went the 200 million blocks down, they just stopped taking damage for some reason. It turns out either he was wrong or they fixed it, because now in 1.19.4, you still take damage at that at that height. It just takes a while, and the further down you are, the longer it takes. I, I'm not even kidding. Here's here's an example of that. So at around 200 million, it doesn't take too long before it starts, but all the way at 2.147 billion, it takes probably a solid 10 seconds before anything actually happens at all. And just to prove that, here you go. Here's an example. Yeah. So around 2 to the 52, or 4 quadrillion, 503 trillion, 599 billion, 627 million, 370,496, the sky starts being really screwy for seemingly no reason. So if you go into F5, the sky box starts to flash a crap ton of colors. Like, I mean anywhere from blue, to purple, to white-ish, to green, yellow, really any color in between them, stuff like that. The camera's also glitching due to the same reasons I discussed in the beginning of my last video, but it's 64-bit instead. So you have 52 bits to work with instead of 23. And by the way, what I'm referring to is this video in the top right corner, um, where it discusses floating point stuff in Roblox instead. But anyways, I think what's potentially going on here is that the color values for the skybox somehow keep overflowing for whatever reason, or Java itself is freaking the friggity frack out. 2 to the 52 is also where your ability to fly further up stops, so that's pretty cool. So since the game starts to crash around here, especially when in third person for some reason, I'm going to do the rest of this on the positive y-axis. So before that though, here's what 9.223 quintillion blocks down is like. As you can see, it's basically just the same crap but worse. Now on the positive y-axis though, it only dies if you look up over something like 45-ish degrees. So here's what happens at 2 to the 63 there. Yep, it's the exact same thing. It's really bad actually, though it isn't as bad as it could be, just like at the maximum you can type in the chat. This section will go in stages as that's how this sort of thing breaks down. Our first stop is at 1 sextillion. For whatever reason, the sky is purple and very saturated pink, and during sunset, it's only that saturated pink. 
out by one septillion, the sky reverts to one shade to blue, with sunset being how it was at one sextillion. At one octillion, it's just entirely blue, and that sunset, it's actually entirely normal, but slightly saturated instead. And if we go all the way to one vigantillion, or 10 to 63, it's exactly how one octillion is, but it's a more saturated blue, and the part where the moon is, is green instead at sunset. This pattern continues forever also. Apparently, this is all caused by color values for the skybox overflowing and becoming not a number, so that's pretty cool. So, now for what I really wanted to show off the maximum you can type in chat, which is this number. And just because I can, here's what going into F5 is like. Also before we do that, here's a very major epilepsy warning because you're gonna need it, like I don't want anyone get, getting seizures watching my content. Anyways, yeah. This number here that we are at is called 100 on octogentillion, AKA, 10 to the 248, which is this written out. And Spids, you were wrong. The maximum height and depth is not that number. We aren't quite done yet. We still have one more place to go. And that place is called the real highest number Minecraft can actually understand. 2 to the power 1024. AKA 179.769313486231 blah 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 whatever the hell on centillion. This is the lowest and highest you can go. By this point, you've gone literally so high that your position rounds to infinity, which I got one single frame of, and your game just automatically crashes regardless of what you do. In fact, your position is so high that if this number was the amount of meters up you were, which it actually is, because in Minecraft one block is one meter, your height would be 2.0431861751288101052831099941379372001127620543 times 10 to the 281 times bigger than the fucking observable universe. The sky to void length would be twice that, so this number. And if you fell all the way from 179 uncentillion to the ground at 78.4 blocks per second, which is Minecraft's terminal velocity, it would take you 7.26526093258265126521 times 10 to the 295 millennia. And just for some context, that number which is about 10 to the 296, is 10 to the 196 times bigger than the time it would take for the universe to die of heat death, which is one Google. You could experience practically infinite lifetimes before you made it to the ground again. In my opinion, that's honestly insane. And the fact that numbers in games at all can get this ridiculous is just ludicrous to be honest. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, which I spent probably way too much time making again, um, there are two videos that I feel like you would also like, which are this one and this one. Both of which were my first and second scripted videos, and if you liked this one, they are kind of similar to that, but on different topics. And also, uh, consider checking out my Patreon, which had launched roughly a week or two ago. The link is in the description and also in the pinned comment, so if you want to support me in any way, you can go and do that. So, uh, yeah, that's all there is for now, and, um, that's all I gotta say, so, goodbye.